Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey Fly Time video production. Uh, it's Christmas Eve, and uh, this is another one of my Christmas flies for you. So I'm going to tie a wee salt water pattern. One of my customers has asked me to do him some salt water patterns. So this is for sea trout and sea bass. So in the vise we've got an annex hook and then S122 light stinger size 6. Okay. We're going to use UTC 140. I'm not using the, the Dyneema thread because it's too thick for this fly. I'm going to need some pink crinkle flash. I'm going to need some gorgeous pink hackles, grizzle, that I've dyed myself. I'm going to use some definite advantage predator flash, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm also going to use some supreme hair wing so that's hot purple you know but purple pink a bit of uv through it whatever it's really your, your, your own choice and i'm going to use some uh, uv uh, angel hair for the body we're also going to put eyes on the fly really it's your own choice what you do with the eyes you know what color you use or whatever and then we're going to epoxy the fly as well so I'm going to start to fly off with a UTC 140 and we're going to run the thread down to the back of the hook ok well, that's that done the next thing we want to do is we want to get the, the pink crinkle here we don't want too much of it but we don't want not enough so I've probably got about 7 or 8 strands Pardon me. Now we are going to fold this over so well, I'm going to just pull these bits out so it, it's all uneven. So we'll catch that in just now, about halfway. Right, there's a couple of strands there that are really long, so I'm just going to trim them. So we'll catch that in halfway, okay? Make sure they're sitting correctly. Then we're going to pull, we're going to go a wee bit more forward so we can build up a wee lump. And then we're going to pull that one back and just catch in. Right, so that's our tail. But we're also going to put some Predator Flash, which is fluorescent pink, on there. Same again, probably about a dozen strands or so. And then I'm going to measure it because obviously I don't want it too long. I would say about there, then we can cut it further along. I'm going to keep that bit, just a wee bit of wetness on it just to keep it together and we'll just pull that one out a wee bit. So let's tie that in. Okay, and then we'll just pull that back over two or three turns just to hold that in place ok then we're going to go forward because we're going to put a wee bit of super glue on that so I want some super glue on there just a wee dod so that everything stays in place now I'm going to make a nice wee dubbing loop Then we're going to take the thread right to the front of the hook because we're going to be going forward with this dubbing loop and we don't want the thread getting in the way. So we're going to put a wax on in the loop and then we've got our stone foo rotary. They, they are fantastic. I can't go on about them enough. So just sit that there. Oh, we need a bit of UV angel hair. So I pull a lump out. I've got a huge bag of it, it's like a pillowcase size bag and I'm going to cut it now I'm not going to use all of that, I'm going to use half of it because I've actually pulled out too much so we're just going to put that into the loop ok and obviously before we spin it we're going to spread it out on the loop now spin away 
you feel it tightening up and it says go too far you'll snap the thread. Now I am going to use my hackle pliers, these are stone foo ones, they're absolutely brilliant, they're spring loaded and you just do that and that's it, job done. So I'm going to use them because it's a wee bit awkward manoeuvring this around the super glue and around everything else. So let's catch that in. Right, so that's the first bit in. Now the whole time we're going to be working it back. Now I'm not bothered about what the top looks like because I'm going to cut that all off. It's only the bottom half that I'm wanting the dubbing to show through. Right, that's that's good. Now we'll go back up. Just remember it's easier to add some extra in rather than take it off if you've already put too much on. So we'll take that off, then we'll move the tail out of the way and lift that up and we'll cut that away. Right. And we'll get our wing again. So we already had a piece that was already pre-done for us from the last hunk. So we'll just put that over. We'll catch it in. One, two, three. Then we'll push this one. We'll go forward a little bit again. And then we'll push that one back over. Just try to spread it out a little bit. Okay. That's that wing done. So, next thing to do, same again, make another dubbing loop. Okay, go forward. And then, wax the dubbing loop. We've still got to super glue the wing, remember. So, that's that. And we'll super glue the wing. That we do the super glue. Then we want to get the other bit of the angel hair that we never used the last time. I'll cut that a wee bit. And then I'll just feed it in to our loop and once again spread it out. So it's like it's like one of those eat, sleep, rave, repeat processes. Spin. Then you'll feel it to tighten up. Just keep pulling it, working it. Once it starts to tighten up too much, that's when you, it's time to get it on the hackle plier. Then, well, the, the glue is still setting. It says, just watch what you're doing with the super glue. You don't stick your fingers to the flight. Keep it going. Keep it going. Right. A few more. Take it back off because I'm not really that happy the way that was sitting there. That's better. And I'll just catch that in. Okay. Same again. We're going to cut the top section off. They're only wanting it down on the bottom. That's a wee bit long there, so we'll just trim that. Just like giving yourself a haircut. Tidy it up a little bit. Okay. Trim that. And yeah, I want a bit more. The predator flash. We can probably take a bit less strand wise because we're going to double it and double it again. So I'm going to take it, double it. And then cut. Right, and then we'll double it again. Okay, and then cut it again. And this time, what we'll do is we'll pull the strands so they're all uneven. So I'll stick that one there, catch it in. Okay, and then just push that one over. Right, 
now we've done that, what we want to do is get our hackles. So we want them to run almost the length of the hook. So I've trimmed one. Now I know that one's that size, I'm just going to line the two hackles up and cut the other one. I don't even need to put it up to the hook because it'll be the same both sides. Okay. Then we'll just line that up and catch it in. I'm just going to move the vise just to double check positioning. Happier there. Put this one on this side. Okay, that's that one in. And then all I want to do is put a wee bit of finish on that just now. Right, there we go for half a bit of super glue. Okay. Now, the only thing we've got left to do now is let that dry and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the purple winging material and this is quite fine so I'm going to pull a bit out because right. I want us to sit over the fly and round it. Okay, so you just need to keep working it, pulling it apart, lining it back up. Right, so I'm quite happy that that's sitting in the right place. So what I now need to do is just spread it. A loose catch in there and then tighten down on it. Now, I do want this to go underneath, so I'm going to give it a helping hand and pull it around. So, pull it around and then we'll catch it in. We can also use a pen, so you get an old bit of a pen, you can use that as well. Right, let's just tidy that head up. It's a bit annoying when you tie a really nice looking fly then you wreck it at the end by having a big stupid head on it that's the wrong shape. Right, so I'm going to use my comb as well just to brush it in a wee bit. Okay. Right, I'm happy with that, so I don't want to keep messing about and then it's going to come apart, so we're going to let finish the fly. One. Two. And trim it off. Right. So the last thing we want to do is we want to put some eyes on it. So we're going to need some super glue again. So I'm going to put a wee dot on here. And I'll put another wee dot on there. This time I'm going to use some living eyes. So these are fire ones. I'll we'll just turn that round and we'll put that eye on. Being careful not to get stuck down with the super glue. If we can get the eyes out the bag. Put the other one on this side. 
while they're still drying. You can reposition them, obviously. Alright, so that's that. So what I'll then do is, I will epoxy that. So that will get epoxied. Uh, I'll UV resin once the, the eyes are dry. And, I, and I'll put a picture of the fly up once it's all finished. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good Christmas tomorrow. Hope you go out and catch some fish. I know I'm going to go fishing tomorrow morning. Uh, and I hope you get your pals and stuff to subscribe to my, my, my YouTube channel. And I'll keep doing the videos. So... Merry Christmas everybody, have fun and uh, come back for some more videos later on in the new year.